Hi, I'm Janet Tran, and I'm a teaching artist here at the Honolulu Museum of Art. With so many types of lines found within art, we're going to explore how we can use this element to create a unique paper project. Quilling or paper filigree is an art form that uses strips of paper rolled, shaped, and glued together to create decorative designs. A particularly old art form, its origins are traceable to the 15th century and is believed to be a means to imitate more costly handiworks such as carved ivory or wrought iron. Examples of quilling can be found on a variety of objects ranging from sacred and religious to the mundane and everyday. With this process, as contemporary paper artist Yulia Bronskaya puts it, we are using edge-glued strips of paper to draw and paint with paper instead of on it. The materials we will need for this project are a pencil, a pair of scissors, tweezers, toothpicks, a thick paper board like chipboard, mat board, or cardboard, bottle glue, a plastic lid or card, and any strips of paper like construction or cardstock paper cut into one-fourth or half-inch widths. Use any colors of your choice. These materials are available at art stores and in your home. Now that we have our supplies, let's get started. With your paperboard, create a light pencil sketch. Keep it as a simple line drawing. Excessive detail isn't necessary. Instead, focus more on blocking out the general shapes and parts. Here is one I made earlier. Next, we're going to outline our image. Take a paper strip and pick a line to measure it from endpoint to endpoint. Snip any excess from the strip. To glue this paper strip to the line, squirt a thin glue layer on a plastic lid or card, then dip the paper's edge. Using tweezers or toothpick for smaller difficult pieces is helpful. Align and glue the paper edge to the line on the paper board. It should stand up right after holding it for a few seconds. If not, hold it for longer or check if more glue is needed. Continue outlining the rest of your image. Here's a finished outline I made earlier. Once the outline is complete, let's explore different techniques to fill in the empty spaces. First, you can continue to fill spaces with straight or slightly curved paper strips to build up areas. It's your choice how to use these lines and how close or far to place them. Another option is to accordion fold strips to create dense or spaced out zigzags in areas. For the following techniques, these are decorative and useful for filling in spaces beyond straight lines, curved arcs, and accordion folds. They are divided into scrolls where paper ends are not glued down and coils where the paper ends are glued down. Let's start with scrolls. For a loose scroll, with a pencil and paper strip, wrap the entire length of the paper around the pencil. Then slide the entire curled paper off.
For a C-scroll, roll the paper from one end to roughly halfway, then remove off the pencil. Do the same to the opposite end, making sure to roll from the same side of the paper strip and remove. To make an S scroll, it's like a C scroll. Roll the paper from run end to roughly halfway and remove off the pencil. However, for the opposite end, roll the other side of the paper strip to roughly halfway and remove. For a V scroll, fold the paper strip in half for a clear middle crease. Roll both ends of the paper from the paper sides facing out. Roll the ends towards the middle crease. And for a Y scroll, use your finger and curl it to the left, forming a Y shape. For a hard scroll, this is basically the V scroll, but the reverse. You can glue between the paper to hold the heart shape. For a same side scroll, fold the paper strip in half or about half. Roll one end partway through. Then roll the other end in the same direction as the first curl. Now, let's explore the second technique and explore how to create coils. For a loose coil, take a pencil and paper strip and wrap the entire length of the paper around the pencil. Then slide the curl paper off and let it open a bit. Glue the end of the strip down to itself.
For a tight coil, wrap the paper strip around a pencil and slide off. Then coil and use your fingers to tighten it so there's no gap in the curls. Glue the end of the strip down to itself. To make shaped coils, Start with a loose coil, and depending on how your fingers pinch your coil, you can form specific shapes. Pinching one end creates a teardrop. Pinching one end and the opposite end makes an eye shape. Evenly pinching around the coil three times, it becomes a triangle. See what your fingers can shape with just a loose coil. Take your time as you work on your image. Use any combination of techniques to fill out spaces and see how you can affect the visible lines of your artwork. When your quilled art piece is complete, set it aside to let any glue fully dry. And now it's time to clean up. Now let's display our artwork and see how we approach the amazing element of line. 